Hey, so you see my video on how to build a rotisserie. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna mount it to the 240SX. Um, you gotta make the custom mounts and it has to work with your rotisserie, right? So I'll just show you what I did here and what didn't work out and what we can do to make it work out. So here's the 240 and it's mounted to the rotisserie, front and back. Um, I have it sitting on stands because I just don't want it sagging in the middle. It might, it might not. I don't know, but it doesn't hurt to throw the stands under here. It's actually mainly held up by the rotisserie itself. So this is what I made for my mounts. Um, this piece here is one inch by one inch by one eighth thick. And this piece here is one inch and a half by one inch and a half by one eighth thick. And this is a flat bar. It's uh, four inches um, by seven inch by a quarter inch thick. So one, two, and three. Those three parts are all seven inches long. And then I just cut some tabs here, right? I got two of these pieces, so one here and then one in the back, welding these two together for strength. And I can't, don't think you can see in there, but in there is where um, these two bolts, right? They're gonna go through the holes and they're gonna bolt to two nuts that you weld to this plate on the inside. Um, best thing to do is to uh, drill the holes into this piece first. And um, when you drill it, you gotta mark it. So then when you drill the holes into this, it's gonna line up to the empty hollow spot here because you're gonna have your nut on the back side, right? And then that way you can bolt through because if the nut that's on here, it's too low, you can't bolt through because of the HSS, right? Or if it's too high, it's gonna hit this HSS. And these two holes that you drill, they're um, half inch holes and they're an inch and a half from each other. That way you can fit um, some nice fat washers on here. And they won't um, touch each other. Whereas this side here, there's a, a factory half inch hole here. And then I just marked out inch and a half over, drill that hole. But the problem with this side is the nuts that are welded to this piece on, on this side is actually a little lower. So it's actually, when you, when you put these bolts in, they hit the back of this HSS, this tubing here. So you just gotta go in there. You gotta grind a little bit of tubing. So when you put your bolt through and you weld your nut to this plate, it's clear, right? It doesn't hit that, it bottoms out. Same thing, right? You're gonna fit it up. You're gonna fit this plate up. Make sure it hits up to, to this piece. You're gonna fit this tubing so it's real close to here. So when you jack this whole thing up, all that weight from this body is gonna rest on this tubing. It's not focusing mainly on these, these bolts, right? And then when you turn it, so when you turn it, this whole frame is gonna sit onto here. It's gonna be nice and tight. And then, so this piece here, I have a, a two piece of flat bar here. So I'll show you here. Um, you can see that the bolt that you have to weld to the quarter inch plate, it gets in the way of this uh, inch and a half by an inch and a half tubing. So I had to cope out that tubing, right? Just so that we can put the bolt and nuts there. And here on the driver's side, that nut that gets welded onto the quarter inch plate clears the tubing. So you don't have to cope out the tube at the bottom there. This just goes right down there. So yeah, get your measurement figured out. Make it work. And then there's one more piece, which is this piece here, it's a flat wire that gets welded to here. Um, I just found some scrap quarter inch plate, right? Um, my particular piece here was two inches, three quarter by uh, four inches. If you want, you can cut a piece that's the same dimension as this piece on your rotisserie. Then you just drill your half inch hole and they just bolt right in with a half inch bolt. It's pretty strong. So here's the way I chose to mount my 240 to the rotisserie. Um, I chose to go with where the factory rebar mounts is. There's already holes in those, those mounts. So my tubing here, this is inch and a half by inch and a half by 316 thick wall. 
and this piece is 11 inches deep right so you're gonna mark out the holes in here and you're gonna drill through this piece all the way to the back side and you're gonna weld your nut on the back side here so that way when you put your 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 half inch bolt it's gonna go right through the rebar mount through the tubing and it's gonna bolt right into the bolts uh, the nuts back here and then obviously you're gonna have your flat bar that gets welded to right here drill your half inch hole and then you're gonna bolt these two flat bars together right and that way they they stay sturdy same thing on that side um, the one problem I did come across is um, so you, you're gonna weld two nuts to this tubing on the back side so the, the nut that's closest to us it's gonna clear down here but as you go further back in there right that nut is gonna start hitting um, the frame here on the inside because it gets very tight in there so you are gonna have to either drill a bigger hole and set your nut further in and weld it so it doesn't hit that or weld your nut and then grind it back a little bit until you can fit it in there um, it's best to drill a bigger hole and have your nut sit inside weld it nice that way um, there's a lot more material holding that bolt nice and tight so um, after mounting it I was able to get the 240 to rotate but the problem is with this setup is um, you want your weight to be evenly distributed between where this axle is right this is the axle and um, I mean I'm pretty much maxed out for bringing the 240 as high up towards the axle and I coolly turn it to about let's say 10 30 11 o'clock right and then after that there's so much weight pushing back the only way I was able to get it nice and vertical was I had to use this little crane and then turn it so I'm gonna do a little mod to this uh, rotisserie so for this rotisserie here um, we were told to put in some uh, 4x4 gussets here and um, pretty much maxed out bottom out here I can't go anymore I can use the 4 inch here or even three and a half inch to bring um, the chastity up a bit more closer to the axle so it's balanced then we can turn it by hand freely without any issues and you know this side you, you can't do it anymore bottom out whereas this side um, based on where it mounted um, there's still plenty of room I got lots of room here to, to go so I don't need to cut off these gusset right I'm just gonna cut off the rear and I'm gonna put on a lot more welds so um, I end up cutting up those gussets those four inch gussets and I threw three quarter inch welds on each side this is only the back piece that I had to cut out and then um, as for for this piece here I used the very bottom hole and just bolt it through and so for this side I don't know if it was the second last or third last hole that I didn't use. You're gonna have to figure that out. As for uh, my axle height, from uh, this point here all the way up, we're sitting at just 43 and 3 quarter, both sides, so it's even. And my garage, my ceiling height's about 8 feet, 2 inches, so. This is enough clearance to do the rotation on the car and um, it's not going to hit the, the bottom or the top. You got plenty of room to work with. Okay, okay so just turn it. And there it is, 12 o'clock. It's not creeping back, it's balanced. Um, obviously, once you get in position, just tighten up your axle bolts here on both sides and you don't need to worry about it creeping back and getting you.